Ay, 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 ay. Hello, Dragonfly Swarm. So, Arataki Ito is the mega hyped up new 5 star Geo character coming to Geo Rock Rock Impact in 2.3 Rock Update Rock. And admittedly, I have a lot of bias for characters with fresh and unique designs and playstyles, so from the get go, I was excited to finally see and learn about Ito. But the more I compare him with that of other DPS units, the more I ask myself, wait a minute, who? Are you? I'm just kidding. How powerful are you? So today I wanted to discuss with you guys my official early thoughts and opinions on Ito and more specifically how strong he might be now that we know what he does. Ito is a pretty weird character for a few reasons, the first of which being his stack focused playstyle in which he gains stacks of superlative super strength by performing normal attacks from his cute little cow thingy and his elemental skill, from his burst, etc. And when you use charge attacks with him, you consume these stacks to perform a special type of charge attack that can increase Ito's attack speed so he becomes like a frenzy claymore storm of destruction. And honestly, that alone seemed really enticing to me already. I mean, that genuinely sounds crazy. And I bet it looks even crazier. But it also begs a lot of questions because of two very key details, his weapon type and his element. You see, if this were a character that has the potential to perform offensive elemental reactions, this playstyle could be wildly hindered by ICD, or internal cooldown. And it probably would be wildly hindered, considering we can see from official 2.3 livestream footage that Ito's attack speed can reach insanely high speeds for a Claymore user. But the thing is, Ito isn't a character that can perform offensive reactions, and while on paper this seems like a really big hindrance to his potential as a DPS character, we've actually seen that it's quite the opposite. For example, Xiao is a character that many players love, and for good reason. He's cool, he's an adept eye, he's just the right amount of edgy, but most importantly, Shorty does numbers. He's very strong. And what he and Ito have in common is that neither of them can perform offensive elemental reactions. Xiao is regarded as one of the best DPS characters in the game because of his unique playstyle and high scaling that allows him to consistently output massive AoE animo damage, even without assistance from reactions. And so players are able to freely build him with weird and unheard of team comps that otherwise wouldn't be viable, but they work with Xiao because Mihoyo compensated handsomely for his inability to multiply his damage with reactions, like almost every other DPS unit can. And so it would seem Arataki Ito will be in the exact same boat as Xiao. Not only does he come equipped with a weird new playstyle, but he is a Geo character and therefore can't rely on reaction multipliers to to make his damage big. So therefore, in all likelihood, Mihoyo will scale him similarly to the way Xiao was scaled to compensate, giving him huge numbers on his special charged attacks or normals or whatever in order to keep him on par with other DPS units without the need for reactions. And on top of this, he can increase his own attack speed by a lot. So as a Claymore user who can utilize Geo Resonance for defense shred, he has the potential to output absolutely insane damage. And assuming his attacks are AoE, which, you know, it kind of looks like they are, <laughs> he could effectively become regarded as one of the strongest DPS in the game, stopped only by Geo Slimes and Geo Spectres. How ironic. The only other thing I wanted to mention is the fact that he's a Claymore user and yet his entire kit revolves around making him perform super fast consecutive charge attacks. This is mildly intimidating because Claymore users are inherently supposed to be slow attackers because Claymores have high damage scaling in exchange for slow attack speeds. The fastest Claymore user we've had the pleasure of meeting is Eula and everyone jokes about how her biggest downside is that she always ends up killing enemies before they can use her burst because she does so much damage so fast. And she's not even that fast of a Claymore attack. So I can't even imagine how Arataki Ito is going to feel because he not only has a means of flat out increasing his attack speed, but also has an entire kit based around spamming special charged attacks. He's going to be terrifying, assuming his scaling is good. We won't know his true viability until he's released because Mihoyo doesn't give us information regarding a character's scaling until they're in the game. But it's still interesting to speculate about how absolutely broken he could end up being if his scaling is anything like Shower Yula's. But that is enough educated speculation for one day. Any more and I might spend more money than I have on Ito. So if you like this video and you want more content like it, please subscribe because it helps the channel or whatever. And also you should totally join my Discord server or follow me on Twitch because I'd love to see you around. All right, all those links are down below and I'm gonna go finish Arcane then absolutely grind on this final stretch to 2.3. Goodbye.